So, the history of God's Own Junkyard, my father, Chris Bracey, uh, being a collector, hoarder, and I am too, uh, he um, hoarded signs for, from my grandfather's era, from the 50s to now, to this division, and uh, we uh, now have decided to get it all out and show it all off. So in 2010, we decided to call this place God's Own Junkyard. We are the creature of the night, heaven and hell put together. Love, love, love. I'm Marcus Brace, I'm the owner of God's Own Junkyard. It's the energising feel, it's the good feel factor, it's the coming around and looking around and the buzz and the thrill and the happiness it gives you and laughter and looking at people that wander through that door and they get the same feeling as I do, it's fantastic. Oh, what do I fear? A big trip out, a big meltdown, a burnout, too many neons in one circuit. Uh, creating something that I've spent three months doing that didn't work out exactly how I wanted it to. And then all of a sudden it ends up being shelved. Um, and there's many neon signs like that, or art pieces I've created, and prestige finished art pieces that I've done that have been shelved, and then I'll go back to it at a later date. begins with a straight can of glass, soda or Murano glass, and uh, we burn it over a thousand degree burners, and it all begins. I love the direction this place is going and what we're doing. I love designing, I'm a creative person, I'm the designer, like my family are, and uh, the way we are at the moment with COVID, um, we're in a, a distraught time of distress. It's a shame, it's, you know, the many businesses have failed and, you know, it's caused mayhem. And to us too, uh, you know, we can't, I can't wait for that vaccine to come along quick enough. This place will bring your dreams alive. 